Hello guys and welcome to the show. My name is John and today we're taking a look at the Swiss army of gadgets. Let's get started. Everything you said we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't been... So today we're going to be taking a look to the RAV Power Firehog Plus. Now this is, as I said previously, the Swiss army of gadgets. It's a Wi-Fi access point, a media streaming server, as well as a power bank. Let's get started and take things though one by one. But let me start with the design. Now design wise it's pretty much straightforward. It's a black matte device which looks great but I have to mention that it is a bit fatter than it looks on camera so don't be fooled by that. On top of that it has a nice rugged design so it's not really gonna break or anything and has also a nice weight to it so it does feel a bit premium as well. On top you will find a button for power and some LEDs to indicate stuff. The back has a flap which in there you will find an ethernet port as well as a USB port and on the top you will find an SD card slot so you can plug in some SDs. Now at the side you will find also a micro USB port for charging. Now on though to the features and starting with the ethernet port it's pretty straightforward. When you find yourself at a situation where there's not really Wi-Fi or there's no good Wi-Fi, you can simply plug in if you have an Ethernet cable available, just plug it in there and it will basically emit a Wi-Fi signal and it will act as an access point where you can connect to it via Wi-Fi on your device, whether that's an iPad, an Android phone, an iPhone or whatever the case might be, even a computer. Now as for the USB port as well as the SD card reader, you can basically access it, this device as a wireless media streamer. It has an app that goes for iOS and Android as well and then after let's say a long day of shooting or you just want to see a movie or use some files you can just plug in your desired USB hard drive or USB stick over there at the port and then access it via the app on your device. On top of that same goes for the SD card slot. You can just plug in that SD card slot your card let's say from your camera after a long day of shooting or something like that and then simply access the pictures and everything that is on that card on your device in the same way via the app. On top of all that it also has a 6000 million power battery right in there so you can basically plug in your iPhone or your iPad or anything and it will basically for sure give a once charge at least and then it will charge it again. I mean 6000 million power battery and the maximum that you will find in most flagship phones today is 3000 to a bit more than 3000 so eventually a full charge is right there with you all the time. Now my final opinion is that this thing is just really really useful. I carry it with me whenever I'm traveling because it's just so many things crammed into such a little device that's basically remarkable. On top of that though, the only complaint I have with it is the fact that the UI of the application on iOS at least, which is what I've had experience on, is just dated. It doesn't look good and it's really, I would prefer it to be a bit more modern. I mean, it goes as far as not being fully optimized for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus as well as the 7 and the 7 Plus in the new 4.7 and 5.5 inch display sizes, which is not a good thing in 2017. Other than that though, if you're a student or someone that travels a lot or someone that has a family and wants to have a lot of movies with him when traveling, basically this is a no-brainer. It's definitely worth the price you're paying, which is not really that much, it's fairly cheap and it's gonna be really, you know, worth every penny of it. But other than that though guys, if you like the video, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe as I upload twice a week pretty interesting videos. Also guys, I'm gonna be having some other new content coming up, so stay tuned. But other than that, I'm gonna see you again in the next video. Goodbye.